Yo, what's up, my guys? Hope y'all having a great day. Thanks for watching. Public test branch to dead tugboats. I didn't have to update my console when I got on. It was already updated, but go ahead and check just in case you, know, you don't have tugboats on your game yet. You might have to update it. But yeah, there's other stuff in the patch notes. Normally, I don't read them all. I just tell you what the important parts are, but a couple of you guys are complaining in the comments. I don't do that. So uh, yeah, I figured I'd go ahead and tell you what the most important stuff is and then have the computer read the rest of you so I can edit the video and get it to you quicker. Because it'll take longer if I read it all and edit out all my fuck ups and shit. So, anyways. Added tugboats, a new vehicle that you can place items on, like barbecues, chests, and furnaces. The tugboat behaves much like the rowboat or RHIB, but they cannot be purchased from the fishing village and must be acquired from the harbors. Map pings, equip your binoculars, and add up to five in game markers that your whole team can see if you are the team leader. These markers will also appear on your compass. Gameplay weapon inspection gesture enabled for crossbow and spear gun. Players can no longer see through water in third-person mode in Duo Submarine. UI map button. UI no longer persists to other tabs after closing the map with the legend opened. Hidden map controls on the death screen no longer appear after looking at a respawn point. Deleting an old marker will no longer snap the map focus to the next most recently placed. The death screen map no longer moves erratically when zoomed in. Map markers no longer snap outside map bounds. Sleeping bag markers now scale according to the player's zoom level on the death screen. Zoom and slash out speed is now consistent and ties to console frame rate. UX now has feedback when holding square slash X to delete map markers. UI for players submerged underwater now shows in HUD when submerged by crouching. Map cursor now focuses on the player's position whilst wounded and not the cursor. Moonpool icons are no longer missing from the multi-layer map. Players can now remove map markers placed on their death point. Binoculars view no longer persists when being picked up from the ground. Monuments occasional white flickering no longer occurs when watching someone play chippy. Audio directional audio from Submarine Engine SFX is no longer too abrupt. Correct SFX now plays when swapping seats in a duo submarine. Anyways, that's the patch notes. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay up to date with Rust content. I hope you all have a good one. Peace.